We are uh, live at Bonnaroo 2007 backstage again here at WOXY.com. Joe with you. I'm sitting here with John Roger of the Long Winners. And uh, John, welcome. Thank you. It's good to be here. Yeah, you know, we just uh, were able to nab you kind of as you're running around. And tell us a little about what you're here at Bonnaroo for this year. Well, I'm actually not. Uh, I'm not here as a musician. I'm here as a journalist. Awesome. Which is, uh, which is stretching the definition of journalism. <laughs> kind of the way the Long Winners stretch the definition of music. <laughs> Uh, so I'm I'm uh, I'm blogging about it for MSNBC. Awesome, fellow blogger. Yeah, that's See? right. Blogging is the new uh, writing of, or it's the new. It's the, it's new. the citizen journalism, yeah, right? You right. know, I, you know that's a generous way of putting it. <laughs> I try to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, as a fellow blogger, I can appreciate that. So, how did that come about? Did they approach you and just say, "Hey, uh, what do you think?" Or what happened there? Well, last year. I blogged about the festival festival for CMJ magazine. Right. And then, uh, you know, that was such a smash hit. Nice. That MSNBC swooped in and made a, you know, started a bidding war. And then it was crazy. I mean. Did you win some bloggy awards? Yeah, and Paul <laughs> Allen wanted me to blog for his private blog that nobody else could read. And I said, no, I'm doing it for the people. Damn it. Yeah. So, so it's out there on MSNBC with all the Paris Hilton news and whatever else that awesome yeah, I'm getting a lot of comments from people that obviously are like coming coming from the straight world oh really you know they're because it's MSNBC they're reading my blog and they're just sure like, sure they're completely from the other side of the of the fence and yeah they're like if you don't understand tool then you should just go bury your head I'm like, <laughs> sorry I, I, I personally kind of fall in that don't understand tool camp it's a little. Not, I mean, it's not even that I don't understand tool. It's just that well, I didn't I didn't know the guys like I didn't know that you lead, weren't a super fan. I didn't know the lead singer's middle name and somebody oh. like <laughs> you know was so offended like Maynard is the great. He's the new Jesus. He's the like, second coming. All right, he's the new Jesus. Yeah, uh, yeah. Pink is the new blog, right? Is Pink, that what it is? Yeah, Pink is the new blog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so how's it going in uh, in in Waxy Land? You know, Waxy Land is really great, and we're having lots of fun, getting a lot of bands in when we can in Cincinnati. You know, and um, Mike Shivy and myself are holding down the fort. And a lot of folks have been really great, and we've been a part of the team for a while now. So, um, so they own you. They, they, they totally they, own your ass, We have right? an owned stamp on yeah, our forehead, <laughs> you know? And Lala can say, like, but you, you know, know what? We're going in a more jazz direction this year. <laughs> they can, like, do whatever. You know what's been awesome, actually, is that they have totally, like, said, we own you, but you do your thing. Hey. Because you wouldn't be what you are if, you know, we wouldn't want to buy you if you weren't what you are. And you became that way by doing your thing. So keep doing your thing, and we're not going to get into the creative mess of, things that it can be and it's been great you know and so the lounge act series has just been such a great thing for us obviously we had you guys in we did it's been a while when was that was that uh was that end of oh five uh, yeah it was a couple of years ago uh during the period when it was you know things were uncertain yeah and uh we had a great time doing it though i mean yeah. since he is blowing up i'm saying man it's the natty you know, that's how we affectionately refer to the it now. Natty. It's the nasty natty. But what's up for the long winters next? What anything going on in the upcoming future? Well, we you know, we toured so much on the last record. Right. And now we're home all summer and writing songs. Awesome. I'm gonna try and make a really um, incomprehensible record this time. I feel like our music has been too accessible. And so I wanna You wanna just, cut down on album sales. I just wanna make it really hard to listen to, hard to enjoy. And uh, you could call Tom York and see if he has any advice. <laughs> I, I take a lot of influence from Tom's, you know, more artistic attempts. Right. And uh, but I also I feel like uh, I feel like I learned a lot from Wolf Mother today. Oh, did you? Yeah. About about uh, how to make my music sound more like Black Sabbath. Okay. And uh, and that's a good thing. It is. So. And uh, the Hold Steady also taught me some things. Are you required to take your shirt off to sound more like Black Sabbath? I mean, mm. in this heat, maybe? Mm. That's, that's a maybe. If I took my shirt off, I would definitely look more like Ozzy. <laughs> I don't know if we would sound more like Black Sabbath, but... Well, it's a step I, in the right direction. He and I share a certain physical build. Okay. Hey, it could be a lot worse than that. <laughs> yeah, it could. I could, I, it could share a physical build with John Popper. That would be not a... Not, be different. So where can we find your blog, the blogging? I know it's uh, 
obviously, like you said, on the CNBC website, but what is MSNBC. MSNBC, excuse me. But is there like a category, like on the sidebar or something where you can pick it up or how's that navigating? I think it moves around. Like, uh, you know, when I really hit, when I really nail the zeitgeist, they bump it up above like, you know, the latest David Hasselhoff news or whatever. Oh, and then, he's big in Germany. Yeah, when I get, when I lose the plot or something, or I'm talking about something nobody cares about, it, it immediately falls down into the entertainment section. So, like, if you talked about Waxy, it would drop like a like a stone. It's hard to know where you got, what, what your cultural currency is right now. That's true, you know. I mean, maybe with those folks, it might not be as much since it's kind of the tool crowd. You but know? it happens so fast. It happens so fast. It could change on a dime. You're right. You're right. I need to look into that because if we could get a little of that exposure, maybe we could get Tool in for a session. You think so? You couldn't even get Feist. No, I know. I know. Can you believe? He's. You're so. <laughs> Keep trying. <laughs> no, you know what? Leslie actually loves us. She played South by Southwest for us back in 2005. So uh, we feel fortunate to have gotten that. It's pretty cool. So. She's a heck of a gal. We we did a tour with her, a short awesome. tour earlier this year. Yeah. Yeah. She's an incredible musician. So any other any other musical stuff going on or coming up soon and uh, that you would like to, to mention or say? I, th I think she's, she must be over there. Yeah, she is. There's, she her, there? there's her manager. Does she want to be on camera? I don't know. We could bring her over. Yeah, you, you should bring hey, her over. Hey, uh, we're doing a, a, a session over here. Can we get a, can we get some quiet over there? We're, we're doing like a radio thing. So if you could just like, I don't know, keep oh, it down. Oh, you're in so much trouble. <laughs> you were in so much trouble. Say hello to everybody. I texted you this morning. I, told, I texted you so many times. But my, oh, yeah. But, say, say hello. But my texter is, uh, is uh, I was. You and you guys let this guy talk. Just just crap. for like an hour. And then, and then yeah. we'll be. Yeah. <laughs> oh, don't believe a word. Yeah. I'm the uh, more credible artist over here. I know. Well, we, we want to invite her under the couch. We want to get her over here. And, uh, no. you know, we'll do like a, no. Yeah, yeah I know. We'll just we'll just we'll just talk about the long winters. I, no, I'm gonna come. I'll come. I'll What's find you in a second. This? Oh, that's his. Yeah. Oh, yeah I, I'm sure. I asked him to hold it he, in his lap. For yeah. Me. He's a, no, oh. he that's dipped in PCP, and he wanted. He didn't. He was afraid he was gonna get busted. You look great. Thank you. Uh, you look awesome too. And I'll, I'll come talk to you as soon as we're not making a. Uh, Doing actual work. Like yeah, like this is of, like a kind of, the, of like a this is your life actually, documentary and uh, and you're playing a part that we just didn't plan, I've but it's great. Life for a long time. That would be very. John Roderick, this is your life. This is this is the this is backstage at Bonnaroo. All right, Roderick, come see Feist. Okay, yeah, of course, of course, I'm, I'll be front and center. Of course, of course, and you will be there. No, so I'm a bazaar. So who was that? That was uh, Feist's manager. Oh, Miss Amy Spishaw. Excellent, of, excellent. Uh, of New York City. Okay. And there's a uh, Brit Daniel of Spoon over there. We it's love just, Brit and Jim too. It's just a massive. Uh, uh, festival hey, of Brit, sex back here. Brit, come on over here, guys. And, uh, you know, I caught them yesterday. They were great. Did you see their set? They're an incredible band and, and a big influence on us, although you wouldn't maybe know it from listening to us. But really? Spoon has always been one of the bands that we admire and just like, oh, wow, Spoon. Have you heard Ga Ga, Ga Ga Ga? Is that like a, That's their new album. Is it really? It's no, called Ga 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 Ga. I haven't heard it. I'm serious. I thought it was like a police outtake. It's actually unbelievably great, but is the it? title is really interesting. So if you can top that with the next Long Winters record, maybe na 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 na. Yeah, we were thinking of calling it fuckity fuck fuck fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that might sell a couple extra copies, and I know you want to make it more accessible, so I don't do it. Yeah, I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to connect with that that Brooklyn audience that you have to really be abrasive. That's 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 awesome. Well, John, thanks so much for taking some time with us today here My backstage pleasure. at Bonnaroo and. Uh, that's uh, all we got. Backstage Bonnaroo 2007, WOXY.com. Been talking to John Roderick of the Long Winners.